Hello and welcome everyone to uh, the. What do you want me to call you? Uh. I prefer Rudy Land, as you probably guessed. Rudy Land. Um, or Rudy, whatever. Um, I'll just we'll just we'll give him we'll call him uh, we'll call him uh, Jesse J. Jesse J. Yeah. Good old Jesse J. Good me and good Jesse old. J. Not Say hello. Be, not to be confused with DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> Come on, man. He's the best. You kidding me? Yeah. So we we saw a movie. We saw. We went. We saw a film. It's um. Some could say maybe the feel good movie of the year. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It was I Tanya starring a young Margot Robbie. Yeah. That one lady, who was the mother, I recognized. I don't know her name. Allison Jenny. Allison Jenny. Yeah. She was good in that. She was, she good. was good. Like she, she and Sean, easily the best yes, parts. Yes, her and Sean were the highlights. They were all the comedy in the film. Was, was the was uh, who was who played Jeff Galuli? Jeff Galuli. Did that you? Was that, I didn't uh, even recognize him. I didn't know who it was. Her but, husband. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was uh, Sebastian Stan, who the the Winter Soldier. From the Marvel. Films. Was he the Winter Soldier? <laughs> he, he's the Winter he Soldier. He looks way yeah. different with a fucking five o'clock shadow and long hair and jacked up, man. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, he's got a nice little pedo kind of look. Going. Yeah. Well, that was that was the eighties. <laughs> that was the eighties and early nineties, man. That's then this that what this movie yeah, if, was if you've ever representative. Thought, if you ever thought, yeah, maybe I should grow a mustache. This is the movie that'll say, no, yeah, no, no, I shouldn't. I love. <laughs> she called him the fucking mustache. <laughs> Stash. But, you know, let's do away with these, let's save these sort of, let's give our broad, general thoughts of the film. Firstly, I thought it was tonally and thematically all over the fucking place. Yeah, it it doesn't really know what kind of movie it wants to be. It's you know? It started, the first, the fake out, first fake out ending. I could tell yeah. you thought it was going to end yeah. too at the exact same time I yeah. did. They sort of started to go for something, but I was asking, like, how could they end on this? They didn't bring this up at all, like, in the yeah. movie, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not really satisfying in a lot of ways. But so. the false ending, the other... It, I wasn't it pissed the with the rest. It breaks the fourth wall, yeah. which, you know, you can kind of give it credit for trying to do something new, but it's... it's I, it's I liked awkward. it when it did that, only with Tanya. Then all yeah. of a sudden the mom does it, and then I'm like, wait, is everybody talking to the camera now? Yeah, and the girl who um, trained her. In yeah, the forest, that was that really one. Real, that's the one that took me out of that, it. I'm that, like, that's the worst one. And they did it three times. Yeah, it's a training montage, and she's like, and she did this. And and she what really happened did was, this. is um, I guess at the time Rocky five or four, Rocky four, wherever, whichever one he was fought it, Drago maybe, in. Maybe I think it was Rocky. No, yeah, it couldn't have been Rocky three because I think he fights Mr. T. And, yeah. Three. So yeah, it was Rocky Clever Four. Lang. Rocky Four. So she her reasoning for doing this sort of odd training out in the woods, running with dog food, lifting logs and shit. Well, it worked for Rocky, so it's got to yeah. work for me, right? It's yeah. Which is fine. Like if you just leave it at that, it's good, but it would show her doing one of the exercises, then cut to the trainer. She really did this. Of course, trainer looking right at the camera. Go to a <laughs> random scene that has nothing to do with, like Jeff, yeah. Jeff doing something. Cut back to her doing another lifting logs, <laughs> and this. Logs. And then they went back for fucking thirds. I was yeah. shocked. Yeah, it's um, the movie is definitely not short on the cringe. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> absolutely. Well, I just thought it'd be like just because it was early '80s, like when she first showed up. As uh, Margot Robbie first showed up as her, I was the only one in there fucking laughing. Her yeah. fucking hair was nuts. Yeah, it's uh, definitely weird. You know, it's... But like, that's, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was yeah. just going to be stuff of the time, but dialogue yeah. was... Mm, yeah, some it's, of the times. it's okay. I mean, listen, the movie was directed by the guy who made Mr. Woodcock. <laughs> Mr. Woodcock. That Billy was Bob with Billy Bob Thornton. I never Sean saw William it. William Scott joint, you know? So, was it good? Was Mr. Woodcock No, good? Mr. Woodcock was not good. There were the, my, the title's good. Yes. It's a great title. Great title. Uh, terrible film. So what, uh, Mystery, <laughs> Jesse James, Mystery Man, what, um, what are your broad thoughts after seeing it walking out? 
Uh, well, I mean, like you say, it was it was very tonally, you know, inconsistent. I mean, the movie starts out and it's like, hey, here's child abuse. Yeah. Isn't child abuse funny? <laughs> it started out really promising. I mean, I yeah. was I was happy they didn't do overdo the interview sections. They had I yeah. lo- she looked great as like old yeah. Tanya Harding. No, I yeah, mean, the makeup looked good. You know, obviously they put like some stuffing in her pants to make her. I thighs noticed that look too. Bigger. That's funny. I noticed that too. <laughs> And she's obviously got some type of like makeup around her neck to give her kind Did of. Did like you this, notice you know. any like digital sort oh, of yeah. trickery on the yeah, faces? Yeah, there's a there's a lot of digital um, effects, especially with the figure skating. Like it's, yeah. it's very obvious that everything was kind of like shot on a green screen. You know, the somebody else the was doing it, and they just put fake. her face on it too. Yeah, right. That all, sure. all the skating stuff was incredibly cringy, incredibly awkward. Like, yeah, if you're into figure skating, maybe, but I'm here to get into the story, and it's like a four un uninterrupted four minute skating yeah. sequence and they try to play it for laughs but nobody in the theater ever laughed during the skating sequence yeah you know that she's playing some weird song you know like oh she's weird she's trying to do her own thing another problem with fun. that is our theater did this movie just come out uh, or has it been out it, for a minute? It's It's been out a while. It, okay. it had a very limited release, I guess, in like early December, but it's getting a lot of Oscar buzz. because Oscar Mar- buzz? Yeah, Margot Robbie. She's she nominated. Was, I mean, she and was Allison good in Janney, it, I guess. Her mom, yeah. Her mom is really good in it. Yeah. She really... Her and uh, Jeff's friend, Sean. Yeah, Sean, the Sean the is film. the best part about the movie. The like, first half of the so movie, shocked. every time they cut to him, he would had, he was stuffing his face <laughs> right? with something. Yeah, he's I'm just, pissed they didn't keep it going. Oh, yeah, and there's just the, the hilarious scene of him in a strip club with this fucking just fat stripper with the saggy tits <laughs> and tassels on her nipples. <laughs> she's just, she's out of focus. She's in the background. You can notice her, you can see her, but she's not a part of what's right, going there's on. there's like nobody in this strip club. There was a lot of good details, like, <laughs> that like yeah, um in the background right there was some one sh- it first the first competition it cut to margot roby is it roby or robbie i think it's robbie margot robbie have robbie. i been saying roby yeah you've been I'm a fucking <laughs> asshole <laughs> man her name wrong she's gonna be very offended when it, she's gonna contact rudy land I'm You're in trouble. You know, it's game over for me <laughs> lawyer's gonna be seeing me sometime oh, yeah. soon <laughs> when it first showed her at a competition when it went from Young actress, young girl actress. Oh, God. That that was the worst section of the movie. When yeah. she's supposedly 15, it's the Margot first, Robbie yeah. and Sebastian everybody, Stan. They look like they're 35 years old. Everybody in the goddamn <laughs> competition. You see 14-year-old girls walking around, all of them. She's just sitting there looking th- like she's in her fucking 30s. I liked, like, how, she, I liked how she I liked how she cut right the now. skates, though. Cut the uh, yeah. cigarette with her skates. That was a nice little touch. Oh, yeah. She was edgy. She was very edgy for the time. <laughs> is that what her... Is is that what Margot, uh, Margot Robbie's gonna, career going to be? She's like the tough chick, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, you know, honestly, I, I didn't really think she would have much of a career. She's like, okay, in The Wolf of Wall Street. You know, she's hot. I mean... She's, yeah, she's I didn't really even hot. know she was in Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, she plays Leo <laughs> Caprio's husband and, uh, I mean, her, her, his wife. Wow, well, I didn't know they get down <laughs> like that, man. Shit. Yeah, and, um, you know, obviously she's known for Suicide Squad. That's, like, what everybody yeah. really knows. And so I never really viewed her as a serious actress, so you yeah. know, she's getting all this buzz. But, you know, I Do you I don't, think it's earned from this? No, I, I don't really get it. I'm kind of confused. I've, I've seen a lot of, pretty much almost all of the nominees, and this one this is... Is the weakest for you? No, Meryl Streep is for sure. The Post. Oh, is I was going to ask you that. Yeah. <laughs> this movie. This is, I mean, we're not doing this about the Post, but yeah, that that movie fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Meryl Streep doing a Muppet voice. If if you know you like that. <laughs> what uh, the Post was about them starting the Washington Post, right? Yeah, uh, no. It, it was about a scandal. What with, scandal? Uh, with the Vietnam, the Pentagon Papers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was okay. about, uh, you know, Nixon and um, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of nefarious things that happened during Vietnam and, and kind of, uh, you know, um, well, you know, shady stuff. Them, you know, yeah. not giving out information that they Do were it. clearly losing the war and withholding yeah. that, sending more troops in when they know, 
you know, our guys were dying, so. You know, another good feel-good movie, you know. See, that's, that's the movie, like, the some of the, the humorous parts were, they were few and far between. The emotional stuff didn't ring true with me for the most part. Yeah, you it, don't really sympathize with anyone. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, I, you feel bad that she was in, you know, I mean, she had an abusive childhood. I, yeah. I don't, her mom was, you know, a piece of shit. You know, she, but she, you know, she, she, she did everything for her daughter. You know I mean? She, she put she all of her money lot, towards yeah. her. If and, that's true, we're basing right, this on yeah. not knowing any of this. He, this kid didn't even know what the fuck any of this was about. <laughs> and he was fucking alive at the time. <laughs> right. Well, I was like, well, I mean, listen, what? Her first competition was in 1992, right? Okay. So I was oh, like no, I mean, old. Not all that <laughs> stuff. I'm talking like the, uh. 1994, I was three. <laughs> <Too shy. laughs> it's like yeah, I was just sitting there with Maybe my fucking diaper. Maybe I just have on. like a crazy good memory or something because I can remember her. I can remember seeing that news where she's like, "Why, why?" Yeah, no, like I did hear about you know some of these things going you know into this, but you don't remember I, much of it. No, I had like no idea that this ever happened. That this chick. I didn't know that she got fucking shot, and... man. She, all of a sudden, gunplay oh, yeah. comes into action. Right, I'm yeah, not that... fucking ready for that. Yeah, well, well, that's the thing is, I'm not sure if that actually happened. That's the you thing know, too. The, the movie like... starts with that quote that says everything, kind of, you know, contradicts itself. All yeah. of these interviews, you know, they didn't really. They played that up the first. There was like the first time they talked about her abuse with Jeff Galuli that came up where like she gave one story and he gave yeah, the he other. Denies I denies that he yeah, ever hit her. I was kinda excited they're gonna give both sides, but then it yeah. just Well I mean they I, dropped it the, immediately the after the movie clearly believes that he was abusive. Yes. Like they cut to her face, her covering her bruises. You know, the director obviously thinks, you know, the guy was an abusive There was a very yeah. sort of underside to this of like it was, I don't want to say feminism, because then I'm going to turn it into that sort of conversation, yeah, I, but, I would, like, there was sort of this, like, all right, I'm a woman, I'm a country girl, I can I'm do strong, this. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, it's definitely not full SJW. I, I don't want to, you know, say Yeah, it's, it's not going to... It's subtle, kind of, well, I mean, yeah. I don't say it's too subtle, but it's, it's trying to be, you know, you know, you can do what you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But she's still not a good person. No. <laughs> you know, I mean, Tonya Harding... Uh, you know, we don't really know if she actually knew. That's yeah. the thing. Is she could have really actually planned this whole thing. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's it's funny because I did hear before seeing the movie that a reporter who was actually, like, at the Olympics and <clears throat> who had <laughs> covered um, her career, he said this whole movie was bullshit. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It's a total, yeah, total man. fucking lie. Like, everything he said. Um, who was Bobby Cannavale supposed to be? He was, yeah. Well, was he first, a reporter? I, they yeah, didn't reveal it, it though until like ten reporter, minutes left in the movie. Yeah, and then he shows this footage of one of the guys who uh, attacked the girl. How he yeah. was moving his car so around. So is he a cop or That's something? That's what I was. I was like, oh wait, is he a cop now? And then <laughs> he, he says, oh, I sliced her car tires, so her her, yeah. her truck would get towed, so we would have photographs. He, so he, he was, was a reporter. Just, so. The entire time, he's, like, just this random guy telling the story. Yeah. Now we're supposed to be invested in, yeah, like oh, he's a could, prick. Yeah. Oh, the media sucks. They just spring it on you. Yeah, he could have easily been cut out of the movie. And that's that's another thing. Like, this movie felt long. Like, I was getting kind of restless with Lag Syndrome. Well, because they had... I was... I didn't... It didn't have any problems like that. It's just they kept setting it up as, this is the end. Boop, now we're going to go to the scene yeah, with her mother. It's like Return of the King with all the false endings. <laughs> I liked um, some of the scenes after the first ending. I liked like the mother when it turns out her mother was recording her. I like that. I could see it coming. Yeah, it was it was kind of obvious. I mean, you know, you, you know, they see her, you know, with her hand and her coat, and you know, she's. I mean, why would she be all of a sudden loving when for? And then as soon as she, as soon as she asked that one question, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we I mean, got she's it. obviously trying to get money from. You know, so even her mom isn't there for her. Yeah. FYI, guys, we don't give a fuck about spoilers at Rudy <laughs> Land, so if you haven't seen it yeah. yet or you want to, yeah. go fuck yourself, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure everyone's really upset they've been... This well, is my thousands, my thousands <laughs> millions of viewers, they, right. they come to expect integrity, yeah. unlike Jeff Galuli Jeff or Galuli. Sean 
whatever the fuck his <laughs> last name was. Yeah, I, I gotta look up who Sean was, man. Like Sean. I was feel like I definitely. I feel like I've definitely seen him in something, but then at other times, it's <laughs> I, like, I is this some re- retarded guy that they picked up off the street or well, something? His mannerisms were fucking amazing, and that's why he's got to be a comedian, right? Or at least yeah. have some sort of comedic past. Yeah, cause... that's the thing is that it's funny that you say that. Was well, he retarded? Because he he might have been. <laughs> then I kind of feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, but... we're not disparaging the fact that he's retarded. We're just that he hey, might be work. retarded. Hey, yeah. He's got to get some work. That's right. Know? Hey, Tanya Harding would be would kill to be right. cast as a retarded actress. <laughs> Was, do you remember the courtroom scene? They showed like this really old woman for like two seconds, the uh, typist. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you think that might have been Tanya Harding? Uh, because that I was don't know. Re- she was very unappe- very know. unattractive, very unappealing, and that yeah. shot just came well, out was, of nowhere looking, for no reason. I was looking for her, you know, throughout the movie because I saw her on the red carpet at the Golden Globes with Margot Robbie. You but, think it might have been more than that? Might have just been marketing, or you think that she was actually hiding in there somewhere? She, she probably has a cameo in the movie. I just totally didn't. Notice it. Yeah, me neither. But I mean, she's desperate. You know, I mean, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it shows in the movie. Like in two thousand three, she was doing landscaping you know, box, and painting and shit. <laughs> and boxing. Oh yeah, that's too. <laughs> I thought it was going to be celebrity boxing. I forgot she like that's, tried to be a I legit thought. boxer. That's what I thought when I when I saw it was like oh 2003. I'm like oh yeah right you know celebrity boxing, but no she was like boxing in fucking Thailand with like people who are like 50 pounds. When I the- when I saw the person she was fighting, I'm like wait what's wait what celebrity did she fight again? I can't even remember like, yeah, now. This, this, this doesn't look like Oprah. <laughs> Did she fly fucking Oprah? <laughs> it might have been Oprah. It was Oprah. I'll tell you, man, Oprah's got a mean fucking left hook. Knock her ass out. She's got power. Them hips, man. Them hips are powerful, man. She's man. running for president now, you know? Jesus. She's triple, got the whole package. She's a triple threat. Media king, <laughs> boxer, and lady president. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. It's uh, it's quite the thing. What, what did you think about the parrot? The parrot uh, nibbling. It was kind of strange. Ear. Like that was real though. That like yeah. when they interviewed her, Did her they... mom, that, there was a fucking parrot on her shoulder. Oh, that really <laughs> happened? Yeah, I heard it was a dead parrot, but a, th- this, this is not a dead parrot. That really, it really struck me as odd because I'm like, why do they keep showing this lady with a parrot biting her? <laughs> It, it wasn't a parrot, but it was some kind like, of small bird. Yeah, they must have put some... Yeah, if it was a parrot, it would have ripped her ear off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would have been more interesting, though. <laughs> I, like, generally, I was... When I first saw the interview, they were going to do that, I was pissed. I'm like, oh, fuck. It's going to be... Yeah. A story, one section, one story, five minutes of it, then back to the interviews. Right. Yeah. But it was it worked okay the interview section I don't have any problem with that they just they yeah, didn't overuse they, it yeah they didn't go back to it too many times like if, like you say when, when you first see it you're kind of like oh man like I don't know about this this is like how long are we gonna go on this but yes they they know when to cut away from it and you know they don't break the wall like it's fourth wall too much like i said there's that one really bad scene they should have just kept it to they should have just kept it to tanya breaking the fourth wall honestly like it was yeah that would have been better would have made more sense the whole story really it started out like it was just jeff and tanya's story then all of a sudden it's tanya then all of a sudden it's this, yeah. uh, the FBI is involved. It got very... Yeah, I like the FBI muddled. guys, though. They yeah, were actually funny. Were actually funny. <laughs> they were good. They Didn't were just... recognize them. No, no. They were total unknowns. They had. To That's be. what the whole cast was for me, except for the mom and fucking Margot Robbie. Yeah. And, you know, a couple of various other people. Yeah. But, I mean, casting was good. Yeah. Everybody did a good, serviceable job. Yeah. Nobody did bad with it. It almost looks like it was shot on film. You know, it, I was noticing that it didn't look digital. I mean, you know, the what did you think about the quality of like um, the shots, the cinematography? To me, it came uh, off like a TV series, like a TV miniseries or something. It looked slick. But... Yeah, it looked good. I mean, it didn't look like I said. It didn't look digital to me. There were definitely scenes where I was like, "Wow, this actually looks like they shot on film." See, I didn't notice any of that. I didn't really. Yeah. Um, I didn't catch it. Yeah, but uh, I mean, the only thing that really looked digital was you know the figure skating. Which, for a movie that's about a figure skater, the worst part of the movie is the figure skating. They should have just cut it out. They should have just um, alluded to it, like the stakes, you know, right. this is your biggest competition, and then cut it out completely, because yeah. 
it went on each segment that where she was skating. And went people on already saw all. that, you know. It's yeah. like people who've known the history. They've the people they've are going there that. for that. Yeah. They know it. They they don't need to see it again. Yeah. One else was there. Figure skating was bad. Yeah. Tonally, like. Tonally, it, it was it was all over the place. There was yeah. it was. It was hum- more humorous than I expected. Yeah, well, that's the thing that kind of sucks is that I wish, like, the whole movie was, like, about Sean. Yes. <laughs> I was like, this guy's amazing. Hey, I, I know, I know some Sean. people, man. Put a pitch together. We can make it happen. He's just talking about how he's a hitman in, like, Bolivia. And, like, I love the interview part <laughs> where it finally collapsed in on him. Right, I, yeah. I hope that interview is real. I want to. Oh, if yeah. I remember, I want to go home and check. Oh, yeah. I, I need to know what he looks like. I want to know. I can remember. He basically he looks just like that, basically. <laughs> right. If my memory's correct, but he had on a, it was actually Sean. The picture in the footage was a leather jacket at all time. A black leather yeah. jacket. I always remember that. Yeah, and for people who are listening who don't know, Sean was supposedly uh, her, uh, Tonya's bodyguard. I think he was officially her bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, really. Wow. Didn't get paid for it, I guess. He still lived with his mom, according yeah, to lived the movie. Yeah, he lived with his mom and dad. and uh, He believed he was some sort of... Yeah. And covert he, operative, I guess. Yes, he, he believed he was a covert o- operative. And, and, and you know, it, it, there's a real sadness to his story. I mean, his parents, they did tape over his favorite episode of Star Trek. <laughs> you man. had me worried there for a second. <laughs> I didn't know where we were going with it. It's a tragedy of Sean and Star Trek, you know? I, mean, I love that it's... guy. So every time he showed up on screen... I would smile. At I was least like, "Oh smile. man, the movie's good now. Yes. I like it. I like this movie." Overall, <laughs> would you, would you, seeing it, would you tell people to see it? No, I would not tell. people. Not at all. To There's it. nothing to it. I mean, listen, if it's on Netflix, I could, yeah, I could you, see if it. If you red box it for like two bucks, it's worth it. But thirteen ten. Nah. <laughs> no, son. I mean, listen, if you got movie pass like me, <laughs> I saw it for free. <laughs> <laughs> but you know uh yeah it's you know i mean biopic movies you know they're gonna be hit or miss for a lot of people generally i've not seen i can't i was on the way here i was thinking to myself i can't think of a single good biopic movie that i've seen um they're usually either very cheesy very pandering or they're yeah just it's it's not my favorite and a lot of directors now are all going in that direction you know yeah. ridley scott you know, Spielberg, you know... Well, it's easy. It's an easy way. It's an easy Oscar grab, at least. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Is it's re- You could say, yeah, but it really happened. So what, the right. the plot's stupid? It really happened. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Oscar bait, you know. And, um, you know, that's... Movies like this, they don't really make a lot of money, for the most well, part. Well, that, that's the first thing I... That's why I asked yeah. you how long it's been out, because there was... Aside from you and me, there was six people maybe in there, and that's which I was shocked. A comedy. I was shocked because it's been it's been out for a long time. I expected it was just going to be you and me. Yeah, like it would have been better because we could have um, we could have talked mystery <laughs> science theatered it so to yeah, speak. Yeah, we could have had riff tracks. <laughs> it would have been made them experience that definitely Redbox or Netflix it with somebody else because making snide comments the whole time will improve yeah. your experience tenfold for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it, like, like, I mean, it had its moments. It, it yeah, it wasn't moments. a terrible... I, I actually did laugh. Like, yeah. it, it is, there are some really funny moments, but, yeah, I mean, can you really recommend a movie that has a few jokes in it? And yeah. It's, it, well, it's better than fucking anything Apatow's put out in a while, or fucking Will Ferrell's put out in a while. Shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Will Ferrell, I, I'm, I don't know what he's doing, you know? I have no idea, and I've given up. I'm, I'm, I'm well. Actually, I did see Daddy's Home too. Which... Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> I have movie pass, man. Uh, yeah, I, but I'm, can you? Is listen, two I, hours uh, your time worth well, what you I went through? I wanted to see Mel Gibson, man. I love Mel uh, Gibson. Mel Gibson's in it. You who know. was the other father? Uh, John Lithgow. You know, the serial yeah. killer on Dexter. <laughs> I know John Lithgow. I've never watched Dexter. Well, if you've ever wanted to see Mel Gibson kiss John Lithgow, Daddy's Home Two is your joint. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I get really lonely at night. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. very tempting. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a central plot in that movie about... Uh, <laughs> did you see the Turn first one, up. even? Yes, I did, and I hated it. I fucking hated it. It's horrible. It's unwatchable. How can you, and, how can you go into a movie... Pass. But still, how can you go pass. in knowing you're going to have a shitty experience? Well, I thought... I was like, you know what? 
I love Mel Gibson. I saw the trailer and I was like, the trailer looks actually funny. The trailer looked really funny. But the funny. trailer was on the only funny parts in the fucking thing. Yeah, exactly. I bet. Yeah. That all of the funny moments were in the trailer, which is what, you know, Daddy's the movie home. <laughs> both of them, they both just it reminds me like that Girls, mom, bad moms, or bad moms, mom's trip, or whatever. Mom's trip. It's bad, just bad moms cheap, Christmas. shitty filmmaking, man. That's like, yeah, we just throw this shit together, and it people are going to see it. Mm-hmm. Huh? Well, I mean, you know, comedy's kind of dead, you know, right now. It's in a very. very was there bad ever place. a time where there was consistent good comedies coming out? I mean, there would be, there would be a lot of people that would argue the '80s were a good time, but I think a lot of those films don't hold up. You know. It's uh, it's definitely well, cause it's definitely hit or miss for me. Like, I mean, there's Ghostbusters stuff like that. Yeah, which, which actually like really us. isn't that funny. You know, I like Ghostbusters, but it's not really that funny. You gotta have the right mindset. Just it's very dry humor. Yeah, mindset, exactly. You know? Sort of uh, cool English wit. Is the yeah, way I would it's definitely it. got that British vibe to it. But. Let's not <laughs> let's not dwell on good comedies. Let's get back to right, we're diverting. Everything. What would you what would you say? What genre would you put this in? Just biopic? Because that's really I the only... I notice you keep saying biopic. And you it said triggers it once. Me. It you triggers said it the once, shit and I like the way I say it. I like the music of the tone of it, you know? I refuse to say biopic, even though I just said it. I always say biopic. I always I, get them. I always and, get and everybody. I, <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's... it's But it, it's almost the anti-biopic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they kept breaking the fourth wall. They kept yeah. going to the they them as to old edgy. people interviews. Yeah. Yeah. But edgy nowadays is sort of cringy to me. Like Yeah, like, like uh, Sebastian Stan's fake mustache. <laughs> it was bad. It was rough. <laughs> it was very clearly glued on his face. <laughs> It was weird, cause, like, and even when he's old, he's got this fucking horrible goatee Yeah, what the on. deal was the soul patch thing? I was... <laughs> that's not even a soul patch, man. <laughs> I don't it's, know what you call a, that that's, thing. That's a goatee, because, you know, goats don't have mustaches. So that's if you right. just have hair on your chin, that is an actual goatee. <laughs> All of the goatee knowledge we're dropping right now. <laughs> yes. Get on board the goatee train with Mystery Man and Rudy Land. Yes. My overall impression of the film... Oh, one more thing before we get done. Yeah. They added in a little foreshadowing, and it fucking pissed me off, right? The Olympics, the last <laughs> oh, Olympics she uh, goes to, she can't get her laces fixed. There's something wrong with her laces, so right. she just like, fuck it, yeah. and goes out. She turns to the lady, I'm going to break my ankle on this one. Did she break her ankle, or did she just not able to fix her laces? What ended up happening? It was just uh, the laces, I think. Right? Okay, she never mind the that. And I was actually confused. I thought you were talking about uh, the OJ system, OJ Simpson. Uh, oh, yeah. They, they kind of they allude to that when yeah. they're talking about the media. And, and that ties into what you were saying. They, they, they are kind of attacking the media in this movie in a bit of sense. It was like Nightcrawler, but neutered. As far as yeah. that part of it goes. Yeah. Well, Nightcrawler's a masterpiece. I love Nightcrawler. And this is kind of more of a masterpiece of shit. This is, <laughs> it's not like, it's not terrible, it's no, not it's, shitty, it's, it's, it's just an average movie, movie with it's okay. a couple high points, but yeah. many, not many, many more, but you know, just yeah. a few more than good, bad moments. Yeah, totally, it's all over the place. Right, yeah, if it's on HBO, you'll sit there, you know, you'll watch it, you know. You know, preferably, you know, watch it at home so you can pause and, you know, go make some Hot Pockets. Yes. <laughs> and absolutely. go take a piss. <laughs> then go back to it. You go know? ingest some more methamphetamines. <laughs> it will, that will really make this a good right. movie. To, yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the overall message is smoke meth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want your teeth to look as good as Tony's. <laughs> <laughs> what would you give this movie? One to ten. The One Rudy Land ten. scale. One to ten on the Rudy Land scale. I don't, I don't believe in the, I don't believe in the scales. But uh, for, for the, for I'll humor you. Uh, the people need to know. If without this, to, without your opinion, they're gonna be fucking they sitting holding their dicks. Number. They need to know a number. They, they can't function without a number. That's right. I, I'd give it a seven. Like oh wow. I'd give it a seven. Oh, oh, oh wow. Like it's an okay. It's okay. I mean my scale's See, probably different than yours. That's that. 
obviously. My seven is you know it. I would never watch this movie ever again. Yeah. I would say that. I would. Yeah. I would literally I'm in agreement never, with you. Ever watch it again? It's it's a one time watch movie. Yeah. Throw away. There's there's just no reason to ever revisit it. Really, yeah. except for the scenes of the scenes of Sean. <laughs> yes. <it>. Sean. <laughs> I would rewatch like a YouTube clip of all of his scenes because <laughs> Hollywood just so get funny. on that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it, it's you know, it's not, it's it's you know, it's it's competent filmmaking. You can't say there's nothing it's special bad. about it. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I say it's you know, I mean, I guess you could say maybe six or seven. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. See, six or seven for me, like my, I would put this at five, maybe six. So five, you mean like, more that's average. average? Five yeah. is an average. Five is an average. Yeah. Like a bad movie would be, I don't know, um. What have I seen recently that's bad? You know what? Forget it. A good movie, Jackie Brown, solid, everything works. Yeah. There's nothing really bad about it. Yeah. There's nothing really deep about it. To me, that's a seven. Yeah. Maybe an eight because, you know, it's Tarantino, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, seven to me is just like, you know, it's okay. It's a one-time watch. It's, you know, it's decent There's enough. nothing so bad about it. Where, no. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, you know? Like I said, for me, it's five. Rent it, but make sure you're drunk or stoned or something. <laughs> um, just, there's some, there's some humor. The humor in it's not like roll over like crazy laughing, but it's it's definitely, it's it's funny. The dramatic stuff, except for when her mom throws a knife at her. Um, yeah, that, that, that was the like, oh shit, it just got real. Yeah. And there's never another moment like that yeah. in another movie. Yeah, you know, it, I mean, like everyone in the theater was just like, "Oh, like." Fuck. I even, I believe, I even verbally yeah. gasped. Yeah, you did verbally gasp. It, it was, and I think that actually did happen. Like, I'd, I'd be willing to bet it did. Yeah, I mean, her mom does seem like that kind of person. Uh, yeah, she just fucking threw a knife at her daughter, and she hit her. Aside from that, it was all rather routine. It would just be like, <laughs> yeah, he started hitting me every day, and then he hits her, and then next scene. Yeah. Uh. It, it's okay. Five or six. Don't spend money to see it unless yeah. unless you get an extra red box rental. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably lean more with like the six. Yeah. Stay tuned, gang. Rudy Land will return for many more movie talking. A podcast. <laughs> Have a great day.